Morrissey Brothers here. So on Friday, July 17th, we were given the opportunity to go to Liberty Tap Room for their Sam Adams beer dinner. Yeah, and they actually had uh, was a full uh, four-course dinner uh, with uh, four different beers. And there's actually a specialty beer uh, that we'll probably show you later. And basically what they did is they just got um, the chefs there, which are amazing, by the way. I mean, we've never been like that with one of these beer dinners. They got the beer and either it's... Used and made an inspired dish, or actually used the beer in the dish, and maybe they, I believe they might have used the beer in each dish, and uh, just kind of came up with some perfect pairing opportunities. And just, it's really cool to kind of play with the, the, the flavor, uh, basically the flavor pairing, you know, for lack of oh, a better yeah. term. It's just oh, yeah. it's, it's cool learning experience with that. So. It was uh, it was a great meal, so uh, we definitely wanted to put this video together for you guys, so you could see they do a lot of beer dinners throughout the year, usually one every like two or three months. So if you get the opportunity, definitely check it out and. Uh, Watch this video so uh, that way you'll know kind of what to expect. For our first course, uh, the beer we had was the Sam Adams Honey Queen. And the uh, food was the Honey Queen Glazed Prosciutto Wrapped Melons. So basically they got melons, wrapped them in bacon, and glazed them with the Honey Queen. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is a Bragging Ale. Uh, Bragging Ale is a little different. It's a mead mixed with beer, essentially, even though mead typically is a beer also. And the Bragg Ale is just, it's a very old style, but just one that's not done a lot. Meads are a lot bigger, but this is, uh, like I said, mead and beer mixed together. And it's mixed with a uh, wheat beer. Seven and a half percent. Enjoy. Um, the young lady is now bringing out the prosciutto wrapped melons. What we have is uh, thinly sliced prosciutto uh, around both honeydew and cantaloupe. Um, they were also going to be glazed with a balsamic reduction, and then we took some of the honey queen and made a reduction out of that as well. Um, so again, it's a very nice, light, crisp dish. Um, we figured it would pair well with, um, like you said, the old, the old style ale that we were looking for here. Everything on the plate is edible from even the wrap, which is a uh, which is green onion. So it's two, slide, two large slices of uh, melons that are wrapped with the prosciutto and then tied off with green onion. Uh, it's a small bed of arugula that's down there at the base. So. Um, Again, a very light dish, especially for the summertime. We will get a little bit heavier as the night proceeds. So sit back, enjoy. We'll have the next course probably in about 2025. Okay? All right, so we just tried our first course, which was the melons with the prosciutto wrapped around it. It was like cantaloupe and uh, honeydew. And the beer was the Sam Adams Honey Queen. Uh, what would you think about the melons? I don't even really like yeah. them. I'm not a big melon fan as far as honeydew, I think it was. But uh, around the prosciutto, it brought a good uh, sweetness to the saltiness of the prosciutto. Yeah, you just kind of pick so, it up. There you go. And apparently they did a, uh, a reduction with the uh, honey beer. Also. It's like a mead and a beer mixture. It's actually very good. It goes really well. It's kind of like a sweet and salty with the mead and the cantaloupe. Yeah, but I'm down with it. Me too. Never disappoint yourself. Alright, so for our second course, we had the uh, Sam Adams Pork Rocker. And they actually paired that with a classic New England style lobster roll. That lobster roll was amazing. What we're going to do with this Pork Rocker is we're going to pair it with a New England style lobster roll. Alright, we actually got the lobsters in fresh last night. Um, we boiled, boiled them, they hissed at us, and uh, my, my chefs are... Uh, a little worse for wear today having to crack all the shells. There was about 30 different lobsters yesterday for it. So uh, what we've done with this, with first and foremost, whenever it does come out, there's a lemon wedge that's attached with it. Before you take any bites of anything, please make sure you squeeze that lemon wedge over uh, the lobster rolls because it will bring out everything else. The lobster roll itself has got a very light mayonnaise base to it. Um, we have fresh lemon, dill, let me make sure I got all, and tarragon um, all mixed in and served together. Um, and in the center, there is a hand-cut potato chip that we deep-fried and then seasoned with Old Bay Spice. Um, the combination of the two, save the chip for the end so any of the lobster that does fall out, you can use that to scoop that up. That's the purpose, that's according to New England legend, that's the way that you're supposed to do that. You're not supposed to let any of them go to waste. So, um, and also in that same, there's, we uh, had a little extra time on our hands yesterday, so we made some uh, homemade pickles that are in there. They are phenomenally good. Um, again, the whole combination works well together, but please make sure you squeeze that lemon wedge across the top because that will help bring out um, all the lemon flavor from the, or from the porch rocker. Um, 
called a shandy or a rattler. It doesn't matter. But either way, uh, it'll help bring out all the flavor from the beer and it will pair those two phenomenally well together. Um, they're bringing those out right now. It should be just another few seconds. But y'all enjoy and we'll have course three once that one is done. All right, we're on uh, course two and it's actually the uh, pork trucker with a lobster. Lobster roll. Yes. It's got a big homemade chip, homemade dill pickle that they made here. Right. And, um, and there's some lemon. That lemon. They say, and they told us we had to squeeze lemon. Yes. Yeah. Squeeze it. So we're going to go ahead and squeeze it from lemon. Where's my lemon add more lemon in it? Yeah, you just got to squeeze it. There we go. I'm just going to scoop it up, man. Fuck it. Let's give it a shot. So to leave the chip for last. Wow. Is it good, man? This is like it's cold. I wish it was kind of warm, but I think it's supposed to be cold. But no, lobster. That lobster tastes good. Oh, wow. I want to try this, this dill pickle. I'm going to try this dill pickle. I'm going to try this dill pickle. The pickle's good. They made it here last night here at Liberty Tap Room. The lemon really brings everything out. And this porch walker is a lemon shandy. most perfect. Oh, wow. I mean, it is unreal. It's like, crazy. crazy. Perfect match. It, it complements it so well. So there you go. Crab, what? Lobster roll? Lobster rolls. Some lemon juice, lemon shandy. So, there you uh, go. Porch rocker. For the third course, we had Sam Adams Grumpy Monk. And we had uh, two little herb crusted stuffed quails. Stuffed quails with some vegetables. What? Um, they were stuffed with all kinds of stuff. You'll see. Some good stuff. Stuffing. They use a Belgian yeast strain with. And so that's going to give it a little more of that like Belgian triple style flavor, a little coriander things coming out right there. So I wish there was a little more I could explain about that, but this, this was just better if you try it first. So I'll leave it at that. And what we're pairing this with is uh, we have stuffed quail. Um, what we have the quail is, in the quail is portobello mushrooms, uh, farro, um, roasted yellow onion. I apologize. Um, we're serving that with a bed of roasted root vegetables, so it'll be parsnips, purple potatoes, carrots, um, and so it'll be a bright, colorful plate uh, with a nice, crispy, I did not realize how small quail was until we <laughs> cooked it for the first time. Not going to lie, so there will be two of them on the plate, so this will be the big course for everybody. Um, it looks and smells absolutely delicious, um, and we did this with uh, the Grumpy Monk because like I said, it's a lot of earthy flavors from the monk. Uh, they, will come out with the herbs, uh, since it's an herb roasted uh, bird as they're coming out as we speak. Come on, it's okay. There we go. Um, so they play off of each other very, very well, and this will complement uh, the Grumpy Monk uh, phenomenally. And it'll, like I said, between that and all the root vegetables, it's a little heavy, again, for the weather outside, we understand, but we couldn't, we couldn't pass the opportunity to pair something that is, like I said, so, so rustic and with something that pairs so well with a dish. Nothing else that we could come up with sounded even remotely as, as appetizing. So as these come out, uh, we'll make sure the beer comes out in just a second. It'll be out in less than 30 seconds. Y'all enjoy. Yeah, the beer with this. Perfect pairing. Perfect pairing. It goes with the gamey taste of the quail. You're right. It does. So another Way great matchup. Every tap room. One leg up. Alright, so for our last course for our beer, we had the uh, Sam Adams 13th Hour Stout and a Spiced Apple Gorgonzola Crostata. Say Gorgonzola Crostata. Gorgonzola Crostata. It was basically I can't like, say it a, twice, so like a pastry once. Danish thing with like apple and cheese. It's, it's amazing. Awesome. It was great. It was a great way to top it off. Oh, yeah. All right, course number four. We got the apple crostata. The apple crostata, crostata, whatever. It's got gorgonzola cheese, cinnamon. It's like glazed apples. It's like a croissant type bread. And we have um, so a, a rum, uh, rum chata, oh, like the white sauce that goes with it, paired with. It's the 13th hour stout with a wild yeast. Wild yeast that was cultivated from the walls. That scratched off some walls. Scratching walls, yeast off of uh, Sam Adams Brewing Company. So we're just going to try it out. It's a picker-upper. Mm. And once you taste the gorgonzola cheese, you get more of the funky flavor out of the uh, wild yeast. Wow. And then the coffee, thick stout flavor is perfect. Oh, it's it's great dessert. Just it dip it in there. Get a little beer on. Get a little beer on that apple thing. Oh. There you go. Yeah. 
on point, I'm going to tell you. There you have it. All right, so we had a great time at the beer dinner tonight. Um, oh, yeah. Special shout out to Liberty Taproom for inviting us out. Always good, man. We always appreciate it. It was a great time. The food was amazing. The beer was amazing. Um, I'm glad we were able to get it on video, give everybody an opportunity, like I said earlier, to, to check, get, it check it out. You know, yeah. so you, next time there's a dinner, you kind of know what to expect. You know, it's, it's definitely an experience worth having. Yeah, like I said before, uh, what we were told is, and it, kind of, and it comes around kind of accurately, every uh, two to three months they like to do a beer dinner with a special brewery, whether, uh, I know previously we had done Conquest, Noda, this time Sam Adams, and I know they had a few others too, so be on the lookout, go on their website, we'll post these down here, and uh, yeah, our Facebook, and uh, they always have their upcoming beer dinners. Well worth it, the, it's a good cost for the amount of beer and food and the type of food that you get. Yeah, you never have, yeah, it's always been something I've never Right, same thing, I've, I've never had little stuffed quails. Little stuffed quails, right. So, there you I had go. a quail leg. So maybe you learn something? <laughs> maybe you won't.